Hi guys, welcome back to Mahindra of Greensburg. Today we're actually going to do a follow-up video to a previous video of ours. Once you remove the backhoe off one of the Mahindra tractors, how to set up the three-point hitch. And today we're going to go over how to do that. Alright guys, so once you get the backhoe off the tractor, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your loader control valve, move it in all directions, make sure you bleed all those lines or else it's going to be a pain whenever you go to put it back on because they'll be pressurized. After that's done, the first step, once you have all three of your lines disconnected, two of them will go back together. It's pretty easy though because the one has a cap on it, so you just cap that one and get it out of the way. And then the two remaining lines coming from the tractor will go back together. Like so. And you just tuck those in there. And what that does, that completes your hydraulic circuit so your loader and everything else will still work. If you don't do that and you go to turn the tractor on, your loader's not going to move, the tractor's not going to want to move. So you, that's the first thing to look for. As I'm sure you've noticed, we did pull the tractor forward just to make it a little bit easier to get to everything. I would recommend doing that to you as well. Um, but the next step, you're going to want to take your lower lift arms off of the bracket that's holding them together, which will be underneath your backhoe. To do that, it's pretty simple. It's just a couple of pins. Right here. And do not lose these, you will need these again. So you just set that down. Do the same thing to the other side. Just set that down there. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is these sway bars out here, you can see they're clipped up there. You wanna get those from here out onto this bar here. So to do that, you just go underneath them, just pull that down, and it'll release. Then you just bring it up, get your linchpin out of the way, and you're going to have to lift up the arm a little bit, but then you just slide that on there, get your linchpin back in. And you're going to do the same thing on the, on the other side as well. Since today we're using the 26B backhoe on a Max 26 XLT, uh, they make it really easy for you because they put everything for the three point on the backhoe itself. So sitting right on the top here is our top link. And all we do with that one, you got a pin here. Parts done. And then for the lift arms, they actually put them right on the side here. You have a couple smaller lens pins. And you just pull that out. And this one will actually connect to the lift arms themselves. And you may have to bring them down just a little bit to make it a little easier for you to connect them. But after you do that, you just slide it on there. And this is where this pin that was holding the lower lift arms onto the bracket earlier, this is where they'll come in handy again. Washer and then our clip. And we're going to repeat on the other side as well. Bring it up, 
get it sort of lined up. Washer, and then our pin. While we're down here, you may notice that there is a second hole on your lift arm here. It depends on what you're running. It's not vital to the operation of the tractor. It just depends on the implement that you're hooking up to. If it's something that needs to lift higher, like a lot of times a post hole digger or something like that, you would want to use the top hole. If it's something that doesn't need to lift that high to be operational, you can use this lower hole. Uh, but at this point, guys, uh, we're going to take a shot of the whole three point. It is set up and ready to go. So once you get to this point, you can hook up to your implements and get to work.